what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh, I'm making a quick little video and I want to show you guys how you can put a coyote intake manifold on a 5.4 forward modular motor uh, so we're up here at the good old stick shift the world headquarters as we call it um, bam so there's Barney on the lift uh, I've been working on it all day today just kind of getting some some bugs uh, worked out and um, got some big news I'm not gonna share it just yet because I'm gonna wait for the parts to get here because that's gonna be even more exciting to show off the parts and we can talk about that so sorry I just had a drink of my coffee coyote intake on a 5.4 um, how do you do it it's actually it's super simple believe it or not um, MMR makes a billet adapter plate that bolts to the head you know where the to where the intake runners are on the head it bolts to the intake runner runners and then on the opposite side of that, it has uh, recesses that are tapped and drilled for coyote style intake. And I'm going to show you. So here's my setup, the 5.4 with a coyote style intake. Mine's a little bit more extreme, but uh, it, yours, if you're doing it and you're, say, using a Boss, in, a Boss 302, um, it'll work. Because that's what I had on here previously. So down here is the... Um, adapter plate and these are from MMR I don't know if I can turn the light on there we go Let's shine it down in there so there is the part number if you're interested in getting them and as you can see on the head side there's gaskets and then on the intake side it uses a Ford style gasket as well um, these I forgot what the price on them was, are because uh, it's been a while uh, but you can look them up. I know they're still available because I was looking at them not too long ago. But simply bolts to the to the intake, and then you can it allows you to run a coyote style. What I do recommend though is um, the way these things are cut. I'm pretty sure it's like laser CNC or maybe it's uh, or not laser CNC. It's CNC machined. Um, so it, when the runner from the intake, I'll show you what I mean. So the runner portion where it goes down and it meets right here. Um, there's actually Material that you can see so if you shine a flashlight down a runner you can see a step um, so what I did is I took the after I bolted them down and I looked down inside the intake runners saw the step I pulled the adapter plates off and then got a burr bit and cleaned it up kind of smoothed that out so because I don't want all that turbulent air hitting that lip and then going over because that's not good for boost um, so I'd recommend uh, you know look in there if you got a step there's I mean there was a uh, it wasn't just like a little bit it was a lot it was close to like a quarter inch quarter inch of material so i recommend that you you know shave that down a little bit not so much that it eats into where the gasket's going to sit because you want to leave material there but definitely get rid of that step um so in case you're wondering what exactly what the setup here is uh, this is a shear fab upper with the intercooled uh intercooled brick I think it's a five inch brick is what it is uh supports 2000 plus horsepower and then uh, the lower portion is a holly race lower so if you want to make this work and you're looking for a water to air setup and you want the intercooler on top instead of mounted somewhere in the back of the car or on the front of the bumper or whatever it is now granted it's tall just so you know it's freaking tall and back up and give you an idea so it's obnoxious so there ain't no hiding what this thing is but yeah so holly race lower shearer fab makes an upper portion i think they make a smaller uh intake that doesn't have such a big brick and then i believe i don't know if it's shearer fab but i know somebody out there makes an intake that has this kind of shape that's just open there's no intercooler in it so if you're running an air to air intercooler or your natural aspirated nitrous or nitrous um you can run that so yeah i just figured i'd show you guys that because not a lot of people know uh that that um, adapter plate exists because every time I'm out at a race event somebody sees the intake sticking up out of the hood and previously it was a Boss 302 uh, sticking up out of the hood and everybody's like oh shit Coyote swap best in 95 and I'm like no it's actually a 5.4 swap with navigator heads because I'm poor <laughs> uh, so yeah so if you want to have, uh, more options than what's currently out there on the market you can get the plates open up and it opens up to a variety of, of intake manifolds that are out there because you guys know that the coyote world has way uh, much more aftermarket support than the 5.4 mod uh yeah that's pretty much it guys i do have some big news about barney 
I know I gave you an update and I told you which direction we're going with the car and it should have already been done. Um, but we made a big change and I don't have the parts yet, but I'm really excited to show you guys the parts. And when it's all said and done, I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to turn a lot of heads, especially with what we're doing. So if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll get back to you when I can. Um, we are starting a new page. It's called Stick Shift the World and whole new brand and all kinds of stuff coming along with that. So if you're a stick shift guy and you're looking at possibly winning something that's stick shift related, you might want to follow it. Again, it's called Stick Shift the World. Joel Steele and I are going to be heading that up. Uh, if you don't know Joel, you should. He's got the world's fastest H pattern Coyote car. Um, so it's currently a seven second car. And right now it's new setups coming easily. Once we get it dialed in, we'll go sixes. Without a doubt, we'll go sixes. Uh, anyhow, guys, um, like I said, like, subscribe, pass the word, let me know what you think. Be safe out there, and maybe I'll see you out there sometime. Peace.